Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited for today's video. This is the first time I've ever done a skull on myself and it turned out pretty damn decent. The inspiration from this look comes from Vanessa Davis. She is the wigs and makeup manager on Instagram. I've had this picture saved on my Pinterest for years and I never knew how to do it, when to do it. So it just kind of like sat in you know, my collection until I went through everything again. The neon was so different back then. And it's crazy because 2019, neon is everywhere and we literally cannot get rid of it. So I thought, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. And this would be the perfect time to create this look. I'll definitely need to do more practicing if I ever wanna to get to her level, but I'm really happy for how it turned out with it being my first time. So if you guys like to see how we got this look, then keep on watching. So my face is already prepped and for these Halloween tutorials, I'm basically gonna do like the things that you normally see me do step by step. I'm gonna cut those short because I really wanna focus more on the look of what we're doing. So if it's more focused on the eyes, I really wanna focus more on the eyes. If there's details to the face, I wanna focus more on that instead of just like how to and the whys of what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Cause I do that in all my other videos. So I just really wanna like focus the most on the Halloween look, if that makes sense. So we're gonna be jumping into the eyes today because I want them to be a little bit more smoky and sultry before we get into the face. If you watched my last Halloween tutorial, we used the Viseart Grand Pro 3 palette, the volume three. We're gonna be doing that again today, I'm so excited. And we're gonna be using most of the neon shades in here. So anything that's like bright and in your face, we're gonna be using. So more of these greens, this teal, yellow, all of that stuff. For the eyes first, I'm actually gonna be using this Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in shade 22. It's pretty bright compared to my actual skin tone, but I really want the shadows to kind of stand out and really pop. So going in with something lighter is really going to ensure that just brightness of the shade. And notice that I'm just kind of blending it everywhere, just blending it down and out, just getting this general area light and bright. So I'm gonna start packing on some shades. We're just gonna go in with the darkest green first. This is a Coastal Sense Flat Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to pounce this right on the lid. Don't worry if it looks kind of messy. We're gonna keep pouncing and packing and blending until it all looks good. I'm also not taking it too far in. I wanna leave a little bit of that brightness there because I wanna add a neon shade there. So leave this open and then keep packing all everywhere else on the lid. So we got most of the base down, which is good. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is the Smith 247. I'm gonna dip still into that darker green shade, but now I'm going to use this to blend into the crease. And then that way we can get that blown out effect so it doesn't look so harsh and jagged. And so just do like little little circular motions throughout and just bring that up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this olive right here and then a little bit of this green and we're gonna work this right into the crease so that it gives a little bit of color but not too much because I, I wanna keep this dark. I'm also gonna take those same colors and bring it on the lid as well just to add a little bit more of that green throughout and then to help it blend out a little bit better. I'm gonna take the Smith 232 brush and we're gonna dip into that neon green shade right there. And what I'm gonna do is just lightly blend it up into the brow area. Now with the same brush, I'm just gonna repeat the steps with the darker green and I'm gonna push this into the crease and I'm gonna blend up. I'm also gonna take a little bit right underneath the brow we're still keeping this area nice and clean. Since this palette doesn't have a black, I'm just gonna go into this ColourPop palette, grab the black, and I'm going to stamp this right along the lash line, and we're gonna lightly blend into the dark green. I'm actually gonna grab that 247 brush, dip a little bit into the black, and I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended. Everything is about um, blending when you're layering is such pigmented shadows together, but thankfully they blend so easily, so it's really, it's really easy to kind of achieve something like this. Now comes the part 
where we left this open because I want to put a neon shade. So leaving that light and bright right there is really gonna help that shade to pop through. So we're gonna do a mixture of this super neon green and a little bit of the yellow. The yellow should help to make it pop a little bit more. And I'm gonna grab my Smith 253 brush. I'm gonna first dip into that like neon green shade. And what I'm gonna do is just lightly pack this on. And I'm not really worrying about blending yet. I just want to pack the color on. Now I'm going to grab this Morphe E17 brush, dip some more of that green, and I'm going to use that to just blend this whole inner part of my eye. Back with the 253 brush, we're going to dip into that yellow and just pack that right on the tear duct. And you can see that it's really helping that green to look a little bit more neon and electric. I was really hoping that I had like a neon yellow or green eyeliner and I don't. I know I could probably use these like creams that I have right here, but I'm not gonna risk it. I think we're just gonna give this a really smoky eye. So I'm just gonna grab this eyeliner from Anastasia and I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lower waterline and also my upper waterline. So now we're gonna start smoking the lash line. It's basically gonna be the same colors that we used up here but down here. So I'm gonna go with my Makeup Forever 216 brush. I'm gonna take that darkest green shadow that we used first, and I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge this all along that black liner. Then I'm gonna grab this olive shade that we used with this Morphe M433 brush, and I'm gonna sweep right underneath it. Also a little bit of that green too. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab my Morphe E36 brush, and we're just gonna dip into that black and I'm gonna really push that right along the lash line. Eyes are looking awesome, but I wanna take a break on them and we're gonna finish them a little bit later. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and concealer off camera. Again, like I said, I really wanna focus the eyes and just details of this tutorial instead of like full face, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do that really quick and I will be right back. Foundation, concealer, brows, and part of my contour is done. So now we can move into the remainder details of the face. But I have to say something, while I was doing all of that, I noticed that this concealer is so heavily creasing and my shadow is like lifting from it. It's like erasing my shadow. So it's not looking the best anymore. I didn't know that the Juvia's Place concealer wouldn't have been okay if I didn't set it. Normally like all the other concealers, concealers that I use when I don't set it is fine. And this one's not, and I have to keep going in and blending right here and bringing back some shadow. So that's just something to think about if you're gonna use that concealer. I'm definitely not happy about that part, but I would just know for next time, if I am ever gonna use it on my eyelids, that I would have to set it. Now to move on to the rest of the face, I have to admit, you guys, I am not good at skulls. I've never done one on myself. Ever. and I'm like here let's do it but I feel like this is perfect this is a perfect chance to like do it here on YouTube because then you can see like someone like myself who I've never done it on myself watch me do it on myself and I feel like I hope that that gives you guys some encouragement that maybe you can do this too so I'm gonna be taking a little bit longer on this I'm gonna try my best I've done a quick like trial the other day I was like practicing and that was the only other time I've ever done it on myself and then uh, for Halloween one year, I did it on somebody else. But it's for me, it was so much easier to do it on somebody else than it was to do it here. So bear with me. Now when it comes to looks like this, I do like to trace out where I'm going. So I at least have a guideline of where to go instead of doing this completely blindly. I did it in my last tutorial. You guys saw me use a brow pencil, and I'm going to use the same brow pencil again. So I'm just going to go ahead and sculpt out the picture that I had in mind that I showed you guys. And let's see what we got. So I'm gonna take like a little starting point right here and I'm gonna go down the jaw and then over along it. Doing good so far. I wanna fix that a little bit. So I'm just gonna go over it. These lines are going to be covered anyway, so if you have to redraw some, do that. I'm also going to draw a little line out this way 
to show me where my teeth should end. So I think that should be okay. Look how many lines I'm drawing, like this is insane. <laughs> but draw as many as you need to, to get it down right. If this seems confusing to you guys at all, I apologize. <laughs> Again, I don't know how to do this, so we're doing it together. But it will all come in the end. For teeth, you just make little, these guys, these like teardrops. Then I'm going to draw like a little darker area because I know that this is going to be more like negative space. And so this, this area here is where I'm going to avoid doing like any whites or anything so that it can stay its darkest. And then same with this side. I'm going to color that in so I know. Don't put anything in here. Now that we got like a simple outline going on, it's not even simple, this is a lot. <laughs> now that we got an outline going on, this will be a little bit easier for me to kind of put in details for everything, if that makes sense. So I'm going to grab this guy. This I used in my last video. It is literally the Makeup Forever Flash Palette knockoff. I got it off of Amazon. I think if you type in... Makeup Forever Flash Palette dupe, this will show up. It was a third the price. So, and I'm, I'm not kidding, it literally is the exact same thing. So what we're gonna be using out of this palette is the white, green, maybe yellow, and some black. But because I want this to be super bright and neon, we're gonna go in with the white first. I'm gonna take my It Cosmetics foundation brush and we're gonna use the end here. And we're just gonna dip into the white. And I'm gonna go along this line just softly so that it is bright enough for when we apply the colors, it's gonna wanna stand out more. So you're basically gonna apply this where that neon line runs through. Now that I have the white all set down, I'm gonna go into the palette and we're gonna grab the brightest neon. So these two and the yellow, and we're gonna start packing it and laying it right on the white so it gives it the brightest pigment. And I'm taking a Smith 230 brush and I'm just going right over the white. And you can take your time with this step, there is no rush. Just get that color on as bright and pigmented as possible. If you're worried about that brow pencil coming through, you can always go in with this brush and kind of press a little harder and it'll help to blend it out. And that's why I'm applying this with a blending brush because it's going to apply the product but also blend out those lines for me. Now that we have everything all smooth, we have the green down, it's time to really make this pop. So we gotta put in the yellow. And we're basically just going to go over everything but in more of a slimmer line. So everything on the green is all nice blown out and blended. And now we're just going to take the yellow and get a little bit tighter with it. Taking this MAC 239 brush, dipping into the yellow, and we're just going to work right over it. This part is going to take a little bit longer because you want to be a little bit more precise with it. All right, now let's spice this up and add in some negative spaces. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to take a regular eyeliner. You can take whatever you want. I can even take the cream that's in this palette, but I want something a little bit more finer tipped. So we're gonna go ahead with this, and I'm gonna go ahead and start to create the dark spots. Don't know really what to call that shape, <laughs> but if you see, I kind of started off like an A or a triangle, and then I just swooped it in, and I don't even know where it went after that. Then I'm gonna grab this Makeup Forever 250 eyeliner brush, and whatever is left that was smeared on here, I'm gonna take it, kind of cut through my mouth like that. Then for the nose,
But I'm just going to take that black that was in the flash palette and then do this because it's going to help to just smear it a little bit easier than trying to color in this whole part of the nose, which is eyeliner. It gets to be a little difficult. Then I'm going to also take this with the black and I want to go around my jaw because I want to give this area a bunch of negative space. I actually went and found a flat foundation brush and I'm building up the black and then just taking whatever's left and swooping it down so it kind of gives this little fade out. And then you can kind of do whatever you want to it. Now that we got some negative space in there, it's really starting to look more skeleton-like. But now I want to go ahead and with these little areas and darken up that. So I'm going to grab this Morphe 4 M433 brush and we're going to go in with the darker green. Actually, we're going to mix two. I'll show you. We're going to go ahead and mix these two. And like I said, we're just going to go in here and then put it where I had that negative space kind of blacked out. You know, not doing anything crazy, just blending it out. It's so hard to get like the sides of your face because my eyeballs can only go so far and it really hurts when I'm like there for too long. I gotta take like an eyeball, <laughs> an eyeball break. Then I'm going to go back in with some yellow, go around it, make sure it's all bright and popping. Okay, wow. So this is a little bit sloppier than I would have liked, but like I said, this is my first time. I'm not mad at it. Could it be better? Yes. Is this the worst thing ever? Yes, no, just kidding. It could totally be worse, but I'm super happy with it. it. You know, it gets the job done. You know what I am. At least I hope you know what this is. I hope so. So now what I'm going to do is I want to paint this side like black lipstick. So I'm going to take that eyeliner again, and we're just going to use this as a lip liner. And then I'm going to take that cream, the black from that palette that we've been using, and use it as lipstick. So for the last finishing touches, I fixed the lips a little bit, like the teeth over here, and then I'm just gonna take MAC 239 brush again, and I'm just dabbing with that neon green so that it really pops. So I feel like if you notice, it was just me constantly going back and forth, back and forth, layering, building, layering, building, until like you are completely satisfied. So now the only other thing that I need to do is finish the eyes. And the only thing that the eyes require is a little bit of mascara and some lashes. So I'm actually gonna be using these lashes from Sephora. I got these forever ago. I don't know if they still have them anymore, but they were the style flirt. I know they were like going back and forth with them, changing the style of them for a while. Um, so like I said, I don't know if they still have them, but if they do, these things are bomb. They're full, but not super dramatic like the Lily Miami. This actually reminds me of the Lily Miami lashes, but just toned down a bit. The lashes are on, the glue is drying a little bit, and I totally forgot that's not the last step. I spent so much time on this damn skull that I forgot that I wanted to glam up this side of the face still. So we're gonna do that. So for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light, and we're just gonna bronze this up. Like I said, I want this side to be more like glammy, and this side to be more, you know, Skull. Then for blush, I'm going to grab this guy. You can't get it anymore because it's not sold anymore, but it is the Jennifer Lopez slash Inglot collab, and this is in the shade Charmed. It's so pretty, so I'm sorry that you can't get it, but uh, I'm going to be using that. Then for highlight, we're just going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow like I always do, 
It is one of my absolute favorite products that I own. All right, now that the face is done, I'm absolutely in love with how it came out. Uh, you know, we had some struggles along the way, but I'm here for it. So now let's talk about what I'm going to pair it with with the outfit. Now, when I had this idea to do the neon skull, I was like, what are we going to pair with it? And let's keep it cheap. <laughs> I love keeping my Halloween costumes kind of on the cheaper side because I like to show out more with the makeup. I feel like it's just easier that way and smarter that way, you know? So I went on Amazon, of course, like I always do, and I just typed in neon dresses. You guys. Check this out. So again on Amazon, here it is. It is a neon bodysuit. Actually, I have it inside out. But yeah, it's a neon bodysuit. Not bodysuit, I'm sorry. It's a neon tight bodycon dress that has a zipper that you can zip to show some cleavage or zip all the way up to cover everything. And then it's long sleeves and also has like the finger thumb holes if you wanted to put them in there. This quality is amazing. It cost me 15 or $18 for this. I put it on and it just hugs your body so perfectly. So I was like, okay, this is so perfect for what I got going on. I just wanted to be like a neon sculptress. And then me and Brie were shopping. She had to go return some stuff. And I was like, hey, let's just go stop into Akira. I want to see if they got anything. Well, they were having a, a shoe sale. That's I usually just shop there for the shoes. But they were having, well, not always. I shop there for everything else. Anyway, they were having a shoe sale on clearance. If you buy a shoe on clearance, you could buy another one for a dollar. I absolutely love when they do that because it's always a steal. Wait till you see these shoes. I got these for a dollar. Akira for a dollar. I'm like, how could... Here is my outfit. It's a little off, but I don't care. This is a little bit more like yellow green and this one's a little bit more green yellow. So a little bit more with the green, a little bit more with the yellow, but I don't care. This was for a dollar. So for under $20, this is my costume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of put it all together, do my hair really quick, um, put the outfit on and I'll show you guys at the end. I won't be able to show you like the full body. So of course I will be inserting pictures so you guys can see everything together, but I will be right back. All right, we're back. So I popped in some extensions just to give a little bit more fullness and a little extra length and then popped on this dress. You guys, this thing fits like a glove. When I talk about it feels like great material, it doesn't feel like this costs under $20. This to me, I feel like, I don't even know who would sell stuff like this. Probably Akira, honestly, and it would be like $85 and it was under 20. So really, I'm a huge fan of Amazon, like huge. And then it has that hole for the thumb that I was telling you guys about. I feel like that's definitely more like a rave thing or I don't know like about the thumb why that's a thing but it's comfortable but that is it this concludes the tutorial I hope you guys like it thank you so much for sitting with me while my first time ever doing a skull I hope I didn't do too bad and if I did please don't eat me alive about it <laughs> it's all about practice but I hope that I made the steps a little bit easy for you guys or at least tried to. I really didn't know how to explain what I was doing because I myself also didn't know what I was doing. But in the end, it worked, it came together, and I could not be happier. Also, thank you guys so much for your love on my last video. I'm so excited that you guys are just as excited about Halloween as I am. I do have two more videos coming out after this, but they're gonna be more character-based. So these are actually characters out in the world. This one and the one before was obviously something that I just kind of like made up and put together myself. But I'm excited for those just as much and I can't wait for you guys to see those as well. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos. Give it a big thumbs up and also follow me on Instagram if you're not already. My name is Amanda Devon. We hang out there a little bit more. Um, but that is it. I love you guys. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!